Hey guys, what's up? Right now, most of the Android flagships from OnePlus 9 series to the US versions of Galaxy S21 are powered by the Snapdragon 888. But by next year, that will be an old news as we are already hearing about its successor and if the latest leak is accurate, then it could be a huge, huge upgrade and we could see the same in phones such as OnePlus 10 and Galaxy S22 range. Famed leaker Evan Blast took to Twitter today to share some details on a chipset coded SM8450, which is presumed to be the successor to the Snapdragon 888 as the latter bears the code SM8450. The chipset apparently will be manufactured on a 4nm process in comparison to the 5nm built on the Snapdragon 888 and this is a change that will likely lead to improved power and efficiency. But that is hardly surprising. What's more interesting is that it apparently has an Adreno 730 GPU that is up from an Adreno 660 GPU in the Snapdragon 888. But to put the number in context, last year's flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 865, had an Adreno 650 GPU. So that was only a 10 number jump, while this one is supposedly a leap of 70 number, perhaps it is the highest one could expect. Now frankly, these numbers don't always mean much. But as Phone Arena points out, the last similar jump in numbers was found only on the Snapdragon 845 several years ago and that did offer a significant performance boost if you remember rightly. But if you think it ends here, sorry to say but it doesn't. There is a great news for smartphone photographers as a new Spectra 680 ISP that is image signal processor will replace the Spectra 580 in the Snapdragon 888. Now what that means? Well, the Spectra 580 was Qualcomm's first Spectra with a triple ISP enabling triple concurrency. Triple concurrency enables users to capture video from three different cameras at the exact same time, all in 4K HDR quality, along with providing smoother transitioning when zooming between cameras. Now, if we were to guess, the Spectra 680 on this new chipset could enable quadruple concurrency depending on how fast its processing speed is. So I leave the rest of it to your imagination to just wonder about the picture quality we are about to get. Lastly, the chipset will integrate Qualcomm Snapdragon's X65 5G modem RF system or in simple terms, the SoC can support connecting to MMWave or sub 6 GHz 5G frequencies on either non-standalone or standalone 5G networks. That being said, given the lack of consistency in Qualcomm's chip naming process, we have no idea what SM450 will be marketed as. Nonetheless, what we know is enough for you to comment the upgrades and developments you are eagerly looking up to in this new chipset. And if you like this video, then please do share it, subscribe my channel and keep supporting us. Thanks for watching guys.